Hey everybody, and welcome to the Binding of Isaac Ultimate Vanilla Run. This episode, I'm going to be randoming again. As you can see, bam. Random. Let's see who we get. Well, I guess we are, uh, we're doing Isaac again. It's okay, hopefully, uh, we'll get some interesting stuff. Now, if I wanted to, I could try and fight the boss right now and get a deal with the Devil Room. I'm going to not do that. I, I'm not so inclined to have deal with the Devil Rooms. They can make for some interesting runs, but uh, they tend to get pretty similar because there's only so many items I'll actually take from the Devil. Especially when you only have three hearts. You're kind of digging pretty significantly into your, your resources. Ah, scapular. If you guys remember, I've gotten this one before. If I ever get knocked down to half a red heart, I will be given a single spirit heart. Wrath, okay. Bomberman here. I'm going to try and stay as far away from as I can. Because it takes a little bit of time for your tears to actually start knocking those bombs back. He's not the fastest mini boss in the world, but he's also not to be uh, trifled with. So, some bombs. Uh, you can get a few different things from him, but basically, I'm going to consider his drop being this chest and two bombs. So, a key. A key and two bombs. I'm okay with that. And I guess a half heart if I absolutely need it. Um, I will actually take this opportunity to fight the boss. I've gotten my item room item. So, at this point, I'm, I can't hope for another item on the rest of the floor. Now, I'm trying to not move, mostly just because these guys are... See, now Larry Jr., quit, quit cheating and running over rocks. You're not allowed to do that. Just, you just can't trust him. He's a cheater. He's a cheater at heart. Don't turn around. We're, we're gonna play a game of chicken, eh? You will probably win that game of chicken because I do not have anything like poison. Ah, darn it. So there goes my chance of a devil room. I suppose I could have hoped to find a spirit heart in those later rooms, but as I said, I'm not all that concerned with finding Well, you know what? I shouldn't have taken that. I'm going to go... Well, I'll take this. Wire coat hanger is just tears up. I believe it's 0.7. As you can see, I'm shooting pretty fast. Significantly faster than I was. So, double fly. And a key. I don't have enough money. I have one cent. I don't feel like going into that. As you can see, the coat hanger has been pushed through my head. Probably a terrible, terrible joke, uh, making reference to coat hanger abortions, but I'm not going to get into that topic. Let's see. Um, there's a chance that this could be the secret room, so... Nice. This is, in fact, the top secret room. Okay, for a second I thought those were just attack flies. So these are quote-unquote friendly attack flies. This is a boss challenge room, so I can't get in here unless I'm damaged. These attack flies will hopefully prevent me from taking damage. There we go. Now the second this spider gets a good look at me... Yeah. That's the problem with, with these. Yeah, darn it. Could not react fast enough. I knew it was coming. But we found our secret room. Here's our secret room, our treasure room, which is good. Slowly building up money. Uh, the hourglass, I don't have a use item, so I might as well. Uh, this basically slows down time quite a bit for a few seconds. It means that you can use it and just kind of wail away on the boss. Oh, I want to keep moving because these guys just shoot single bullets single tears uh, but they shoot at where you are standing so if you move around they don't bleed properly um, I only have one key I'm gonna wait A after last run and the ridiculous lack of keys I don't have to explain the tick 
after our last run with a ridiculous amount of lack of keys, I, I, I don't trust uh, using keys for other stuff. So out of this chest popped the tick. Uh, the tick is a trinket that... It, it's good and bad, and honestly, me taking it now wouldn't really change all that much. In fact, I'm actually tempted to take it, just because I have a chance at a deal with the Devil Room. <sighs> Why not? It'll prevent me from taking something like Cancer, but maybe I'll find Mom's Purse. Effectively, this trinket is unremovable. So, it, it lowers the boss's HP by about 15%, I believe it is. I haven't taken Red Heart damage yet. Uh, I should have used this at the start. So, as you can see, ridiculously slows down time. Basically, just by debuffing the enemies to be really slow. At this point, I might as well just take the damage to get down to one heart. I'm really tempted to actually just do that. Jesus juice. It's range and tears up. I actually believe that's incorrect. I don't remember off the top of my head, however. Um, so I've got a few different opportunities for the normal secret room. It's either here, and yes, I'm purposely standing in this bomb, or here. Six coins, not bad. I suppose I didn't have to blow myself up with a bomb to get down to one heart, but I want to go to this boss challenge room. And there's a good number of hearts on the floor. Range up, why not? I'm pretty sure I can take, yeah, Monstro. Come on, jump. His tier, the, the tiers that he shoots are kind of hard to judge where they are in terms of space, just because the shadows don't, in my opinion, don't give a good enough, like, I don't trust my judgment, basically. Like, if I think it's somewhere, it's probably not. So, that was my first really bad death, and I'm only seven minutes in, so I am going to hit replay. That was just a bad decision. Uh, it was a risk. It was a calculated risk, but it was, it was bad. But I've promised not to, uh, I need to stop killing these spiders. I've promised not to do any off-camera stuff. This is a completely vanilla run. What I end up with at the end is what I end up with at the end. I'm not going for most mom kills without a death or anything like that. I'm just going for a normal playthrough of the game uh, by somebody who's not particularly pro at it. I've got some good knowledge of how the behind the scenes work, which is what I'm trying to impart on everybody else, but I don't, uh, I'm not particularly good, I would say. So I'm trying to herd him towards right here, um, because the last one blew up with a troll bomb, and from looking at the map, that is a potential place for, oh come on, that's a potential place for the secret room. He'll go back there eventually. Rar. I, I'm despite the fact that I am crying and a naked boy in the basement. Ah, shoot, I missed my chance. Is it worth not spending a bomb <laughs> to to go through this shenanigans? Perhaps it's a little bit more min maxy than perhaps you should try to be at the start. Yeah, see that's why I say I'm not good at this because I missed all three of those shots and I should have hit at least one. At least I hit at least one of those. Yeah, come on. Go back the other way. Eh, uh, wasn't close enough. Um, I'm gonna wait to pick up that. Um, and the reason for that is, is this. Yeah, that was in fact the secret room. I was correct. Um, well that's disappointing actually. You know, I don't care. Well, that turned out to be good. Um, I'm going to eat through most of those spirit hearts that I just picked up, but that's that's okay. I'm still going to not pick up this one. I'd rather start eating into my red heart damage before I start picking up spirit hearts. 
just because spirit hearts are not replaceable. I mean, like, you, you see you have to get the spirit heart. And once you get it, there's always room for it. But if you are just taking spirit heart damage, all red heart drops are useless to you. So this way, there's a good balance. And I'm going to blow up this tinted rock, since I'm doing pretty okay in terms of bombs. Another spirit heart. Ah, lucky foot. Okay, so I actually unlocked this recently uh, with uh, with Kane when I unlocked Kane, and since I haven't played use Kane yet, I haven't had a chance to explain it. But well, I guess here we go. Um, lucky foot does a few different things, and I'm actually going to pick up all the spirit hearts now for the boss fight. Give myself a chance at a deal with the devil. A 33, 35 percent chance. But Kane's lucky foot does a few things. It doesn't actually. I guess it's just the lucky foot. It's not Kane's lucky foot. The Widow again. I am not a fan of the Widow. Without extra damage, it's just a long fight. And you really need it to crush its own spawn. And I don't need any more spiders. And it just spawned another one. But Kane's Lucky Foot doesn't actually affect your luck stat. And there is, in fact, a luck stat. Uh, I've mentioned it in the past when discussing... Uh, forget which item it is. It's the Brass Knuckles. Uh, Tough Love is the name of the item. I'm actually going to kill the Widow without taking any damage from it. Still might take damage from its spiders. Uh, but there is a Luxstat, and Luxstat affects the different drops on the floor of, from rooms and whatnot. Usually you would think it's better to have a high Luxstat, and sometimes it is, but it's also just as good to have a low Luxstat. Uh, there's kind of a mathematical reason behind that, the way that the code was done. It's basically a bug. But having negative luck gives you really good item drops. But, this the lucky foot doesn't actually affect your luck stat. But what it does do, is it basically guarantees uh, that you're going to be doing better in certain things like gambling. So I'm now much more apt to gamble in this run, uh, because my statistics of winning are higher. I don't remember what the statistics are specifically, um, but you know, like some 25% chances become 33% chances. It basically is beneficial for you to be to be gambling. I'm gonna wait on a normal chest. If it was an item, I'd probably take it. I definitely wouldn't take that if it was a golden chest, though, because I need all the keys I can get. I'm approaching viable money for the shop. I will take the odd mushroom. My head has gotten bigger. I believe there is a slight speed decrease. I'm feeling it a little bit. But the damage up is nice. Damage ups are almost always good. If you have a high base damage, you can survive almost anything. Just because you can kill it before it gets close to you. Or... You know, if if you really wanted to, you could just kind of have a shootout. It's jumping against you, and you're just getting free shots on it. I don't ever suggest doing that, but for something like uh, the final final boss fights, which we haven't gotten to yet, that's not a terrible strategy if you've got really high damage. Okay, so bicycle card, two of hearts. Now I have run into the two of hearts before, if you remember. Two of hearts doubles your health, your red heart health, up to your heart containers. So until I have two and a half hearts, red hearts, it's not actually effective for me to use it, or it's not the most efficient. If I use it before then or after then, it loses some efficiency. Oh man. Well, I don't want to. I don't want to take that just yet. I definitely don't. I want to fight the boss. Okay, so we've got Larry Jr., Champion Larry Jr., so I will probably get a Spirit Heart out of this. Uh, some champions are a little bit more consistent about what they drop. Blue Larry Jr., every single time I've seen him, drops Spirit Heart for me. I know I've switched targets. Oh, well, now I'm back to the original one. There we go. And I think it's the second one that will give me the Spirit Heart. But the chances of me getting a deal with the Devil Room are pretty high right now. Bam, there you go. So, Spirit Hearts. Spirit Hearts everywhere. Um, I'll, I'm going to take the HP up before I go into the deal with the Devil Room. 
Um, flying and tears. Or er, yeah, this is Lord of the Pit. Uh, it's flying. It's it's not Spirit of the Night. It does not give spectral tears along with it. This would give spectral tears, so I could effectively get Spirit of the Night for three hearts. But honestly, that's not worth it. I I do not believe it is worth it. Flying is nice. Don't get me wrong. It can get you a lot of extra items. It can do a lot more for you. But it's definitely... It's definitely not worth three hearts. Alright. So, I decided to do this challenge room. If I take any damage, I'm going to call it not really worth it. Now, if I do get a final drop at the end, that puts me up to... 15 coins, and now that I have a key, I will call it worth it, because then I can go visit the shop. But until that time, we'll see. If I take some damage for three coins, I, I wouldn't be entirely mad. I'd really hope not to, but basically I'm just trying to angle my shots and hope that he moves where I want him to. Have a heart. Well, you know what? I don't have full health, full red heart health, so why not? I'm not going to duck into that shop. Chances of me just not being able to buy something good are too high. I've already been in there. Or have I? No, I haven't. Let's check it out. Oh, we found the... Alright, well, so this changed things. But now I can either choose to use a bomb to escape... Yeah, bomb or a heart. I'll take the heart. In fact, I might... That was actually worse. That was actually worse. So, because I didn't let that bomb explode, uh, it basically was still there when I went back, and it managed to hit me. The map. Um, map's not bad, but I don't really want it. Since I tend to explore most of the floor anyway, uh, the map really only does one thing for me, and that's tell me where the secret room is. Now, I've already found a secret room, and that's actually the top secret room. Pretty sure it's the top secret room. We're going to find out, because if it is the just normal secret room, then... Yeah, that is the, just the normal secret room. Um, being next to the boss room could have possibly disqualified that middle room from being it. I will actually be full red heart health. Awesome. And this will give me an extra, an extra heart container, because I went down to the next floor with an eternal heart. see what we got. Catacombs. Curse of the Labyrinth. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. So this is, that's one of those situations where having high damage would be really useful. Oh boy, oh boy, don't, don't kill me in this room. So I've now taken red heart damage on this floor. I am losing so much money. So this room was just bad. This room was just really bad. I did not have the damage to deal with that. That cost me so many hearts. Oh my gosh. And this room isn't going to be much better. So, fun thing about these fla these white flies is they will disappear. They don't fully count as enemies, so if I spawn it, leave the room and come back in, well, guess what? It's not there anymore. They tend to have more health, so it's more annoying. Okay, this is good. This just means that if I need to, I can trade a key for a bomb. Yeah, those white those white uh, flies are not fully enemies. So you can just leave and they'll come back and they're gone. It's a little bit of convenience, but it's also... I mean, killing them sometimes can be useful, but very rarely is it actively useful. Usually they're just in the way. I probably should have gotten hit by that. don't have enough damage to take care of these guys as fast as I want, and these guys are super annoying. Those split shots, like, they seem like they'd be okay, just because I can stand still and he won't hit me. But the second there's more than one, they just start surrounding you, and if you don't move, then you don't have any method of uh, of getting to them. Like, you, you, you can't kill them safely by standing still while, you know, dodging shots 
because their shots are just it, they're basically their shots like if you move you're gonna get hit that's why they split around you but they're also at the same time doing the if you don't move I'm gonna run into you so the second they have free reign like that they can they can jump a lot further than you might give them credit for there's a few different enemies that can do that unfortunately see this is where the white flies become a danger is when they're an obstacle in the room it kind of intended to, to, to pop that poop the second one but the first one I did not I was focusing on aiming at these guys Congo liners or I think I think I've heard them called butt lickers because they're always following each other man I'm taking oh boy I'm taking so much stupid damage so I actually went past the part where the past the amount of hearts that my two of hearts is most efficient so I'm actually hoping oh geez I'm hoping to at some point here you know what I don't want to deal with this he was kind enough to open that door for me so I am going to be a gracious uh, guest and take it <laughs> oh you'd like me to leave yes yes I, I will do that I want that heart Okay, so we're gonna have some uh, some experience here. I'm really hoping to get a small rock, golden chest. Oh, this is bad. I'm going to die. Okay, so somehow I lived after getting trapped in a corner horribly, and all I get for it is a golden chest. I'm literally one of their explosions away from dying. So that is the worst decision that I have, have, have yet made. Um, do I open this chest? I know it's in the room to the right, because that's where I bailed. Okay, this is going to go badly. Avoiding spikes as well as these guys' explosions when they die is not going to be simple. I think I'm just going to try and turn this into a shooting gallery because this entire side is safe and they're not bouncing over here yet. So if I just move up and down, I won't have to worry about accidentally hitting spikes. Instead, I'll just have to worry about being bad and getting hit by that. Alright, so I'm running at half a heart here. This is probably a mistake. Oh, I found an item room. This could be good. If it's got a health up in there, that'll also heal me a little bit. Oh, game, you hate me. I should have just taken the flying. Mini mushroom. So this gives me increased speed and increased range. Uh, that might be useful. Uh, having a higher speed I don't think would have gotten me out of the last debacle where I got uh, cornered. Just because I, I... I was dumb. I let the AI surround me. But... Oh, well, this is interesting. Although if I kill him, yep, they're going to start running at me. Luckily, I am now faster because of that mini mush than they will ever be. Um, you know what? I think I'm going to see if this is... I should have checked if this was the secret room. No, it's not. If it had been, then, I don't know, maybe I'd find a secret room item in there that would... I don't know, help save the day. There are a lot of spiders in this room, which is just asking for trouble. I'm terrible at dodging spiders. Oh my. You need to die. So, boss challenge room. So that's the wire coat hanger. I do want that. Uh, I just don't want it right now. The chances of me dying are pretty high. I would really like to have some spirit hearts. Because as I've mentioned in the past, spirit hearts let you get into boss challenge rooms with m effect more than one effective health. You still have to have one or less red hearts, but you can get in with spirit hearts. I might just... Okay, so... We found conga liners. You need to die, fly. I don't want to have to worry about you. Now, I've yet to really figure out these guys' movement. 
Oh my. I think the mini mush just saved me there. I, I think I would have gotten caught. I'm just kind of trying to lay down a suppressing fire here. Try and stay as far away as possible. Hope I get a little lucky and that they turn into the bullets. That was also really convenient. Okay, so the Spelunker hat lets me see through doors. This has some benefits. It also has some... Well, I guess it, it is a all benefit, but it has some unfortunate downsides. And that's that even though... So I now know that this is the secret room, and I'm going to open it up. But there's another item, the x-ray specs, that will just let you walk in. Um, you know, I don't have any use for this money. I would like some hearts. Oh, dang. I was hoping that would be a pretty fly. You have a chance to spawn a black fly or a pretty fly if you line up three flies on this machine. But it stays the same over the course of that machine. So if I were to get three flies again, it would spit out a black fly. Well, I guess I can just keep playing with this one coin that it is insistent on giving back to me. Okay, that didn't help any. Ah, well. Flat penny. This will be very, very good, actually. Um, the real question is, can I survive with this half heart? Ah, yes, an arcade, I should have realized. I, I definitely want to... Dang it. I want to avoid jump being in corners, and by attempting to avoid that, I ended up smashing into the uh, the conga liners, whatever they're called. This thing in some cave. So that's what I'll call it. Um, I'm at 26 minutes, a little bit longer. I'm going to call this video here. Um, before I do that entirely, I will say that the flat penny is a trinket that when you pick up a coin, uh, penny, nickel, dime, whichever, you have about a 50% chance to spawn a key, which would have been really useful because I had that golden chest that I wanted to open and a few other things. But the, the, the moral of today's story is corners. Corners are dangerous. They can be really helpful if you have flying and they're the corners that are blocked off by empty space. But they are very, very, very dangerous otherwise. I mean, I, I'm going to probably go back and just watch how fast my health dropped when I had all four of the... Uh, uh, I don't actually know the real names. The green spitters um, just beating up on me in that corner. That was ugly. That was ugly. But... Either way, hopefully you guys learned something from this. Um, cautionary tale. Uh, that's that's partially what this is supposed to be. Uh, I've been relatively successful before now, and that was not entirely the intention. Obviously, since I have a decent amount of hours put into this game, I was expecting to do well. Um, I wasn't expecting to win as thoroughly as I did in some of the early runs. But everybody makes mistakes, and I, I am no exception to that rule and I just got absolutely destroyed in those two runs. Those runs were, were kind of embarrassing, I'll be honest. I'm up to 10 deaths. I'm not sure where I got 10 deaths. I don't remember dying 10 times. I promise that I haven't been running anything off the clock, off the camera, but either way, didn't unlock anything new, unfortunately. We saw some new trinkets, we saw some new items. Hopefully those have been explained. Uh, pretty soon here, I'm going to be discussing how I'm going to deal with the fact that I don't always finish my thoughts when it comes to different items as I see more things and, and go on and on. I'm sure there are a few things I could talk more about while I'm playing. However, I will get to that in due time, I promise. So if you like what you saw, please like, favorite, uh, subscribe if you want to see more. Feel free to leave a comment down below letting me know what uh, you liked, what you didn't like, if there's anything more that I could explain more thoroughly, anything like that. Any sort of feedback, any sort of interaction, basically it boosts my channel forward, makes me uh, more aware of who's watching and how I can help them, and lets me deliver better content. So I will see you guys next time.